Wow, your ship. This thing looks like a Lamborghini. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Simon, you have all the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So cool, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Green area at once. Wow, that was then so cool. Then you have cool. to be real. Here we go. But uh, the retool wasn't done. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. All right, guys, I am here to try for the first time ground mining. And I am waiting for my Gray Cat ROC, which I guess means remote ore collector. And I'm preparing for my Welcome to the mining Air adventure with Simon later on. So in 20 seconds, I'm going to see what this thing looks like for the first time. I'm going to put it in my Hercules and then go store it somewhere and meet Simon for our first ground mining adventure. Okay, here we go. Vehicle select. Your vehicle has been. Please visit us again. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Uh oh. Hello, sir. Yes, please. I'm unarmed. It's one seater. <laughs> How do I get in here? From the side, maybe. The back. Front, gotta be the front. Here we go. Very nice. <laughs> okay, power. Engines. Systems activating. Fancy. I'm liking it. So this is where I'm supposed to meet Simon. This is Crew L1 station. I have never been here. It is absolutely cool. All right, I'm down here in the refinery for the first time. So don't know what to expect exactly. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <gasps> look at this. Wow, look at all the workers doing their thing. That molten metal. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do down here. That is so cool. Oh, it stopped. Ooh. Oh no! And then over here are also to this place where you can rent the stuff. So, for example, I think you can rent a rock mining vehicle. Yeah, a mining ship as well. And the really? Cutlass Black, so you can fit the rock mining vehicle in the back of it. Oh, wow. These are the very starter basics for ship yes. and hand mining. Okay. You can select for how long you want to rent them. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Wow, so, so you don't really have to buy the full ship. Wow, in the That's ship right. market. Okay. That is a good idea. I like okay. this shop. This is the this is the coolest shop I've ever seen. Yeah. So Isn't it? It's you're great. You're saying that the blue one is the the <coughs> no the purple one is the most uh, valuable. Yes. Had the blue and the uh, green are way less valuable, but 
If I find a big deposit, I might as well take it. Okay, and the yellow, it's or anything that's not green, purple, or blue is more valuable. Yes. And these are attachments, f no, handheld devices for yes. stabilizing, or you said there's always a positive and a yep. negative. Uh, yeah, you see that also when you go to this display here and you filter for... What is it? Misc, maybe? Nope. Utility? Uh, yeah, utility and then scroll down a little bit. Uh -huh. The Optimax, for example, Wave Shift. Sap here, those. Utility. Okay, yes, scroll down a the little bit. The one that's called Optimax, for example. Yes. And they are reusable as long as they don't glitch through the floor or whatever. Oh. Uh, they fall off the rock once you uh, split it. For example, the first one reduces the resistance of the rock by 30%. It's quite a lot. Mm -hmm. But it also reduces the optimal charge window size. You will ah. see that's the green area where you have to keep the energy level yes. until it splits. Wow. And uh, if you scroll further down, there are the mining heads for the ships. They also have different stats. So there's a lot of different mining heads. Like, yep. this can get extremely technical. Yeah. You also have on the way on the bottom, you can buy one SU and two SU loot boxes where you, you can yes. load them in your ship and then you can uh, put your loot in them. Can you like carry them with you and... Yeah, the one SU you can carry, I think, uh -huh. uh, or not. Maybe it's too big. Uh -huh. With tractor beam you can. Okay. Yeah, but I think we start today with um, rock mining and hand mining. All so right. The basics. And the last thing I want to show you up here, every refinery has, of course, the refinery department. Hello, sir. Um, <laughs> so if, but that's for ship mined ores. Okay. They are uh, need refinement after you mined them. Uh, this display, I think, you just sell them unrefined, but gives you around about half the value oh. from refined materials. So it's like a quick way I you sell see. the unrefined ore to the refinery. Or here, you would go on the display, select your ship, and tell it between the fast and slow methods, which method you would prefer so faster is more expensive like you pay a fee for the refinement oh, i think uh, it only works if you have a ship here with ores oh, okay then you will see dif like nine different ways to refine three speeds and three <laughs> like qualities with more or less loss of valuable material You're kidding. so you said you have to pay a fee in order to use the refinement yes and then you have to wait depends which one you choose between a few hours maybe and oh, two wow. days or something. No way. And once it's finished, you can come back here with a freight ship or what? just any ship with cargo hold and you go back to the display here and you move the refined material into your ship uh -huh. and you can fly it, for example, to area 18 or whatever city and sell it in the trade district. So you don't sell it here? Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's all the basics. Can we look at the big uh, refinery thing? Sure. With the fire. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Wow. Not sure what they do, I guess. Up there is the melting oven. Right. And here is where they fill it into whatever. I'm not very good at steel production. I'm more in the aluminium segment. Aluminum. Yeah, aluminum. Wow. The, the sparks flying around. So <laughs> amazing. 
Okay. If you ever are near something like that, in reality, uh -huh. even at this distance, it's so hot, it's crazy. Oh, you've been the close to something like that? Yeah, aluminium is way less hot than steel, for example, but even that, it's when you are three, four meters away, and uh -huh. they open the oven, Yeah. just from the radiation heat, it's crazy. Wow. So dangerous. Yeah. Okay, I guess let's go then. Alright. So this is going to be the first time for me to do mining in a ground vehicle or by hand. Yeah. Oh man. I hope I don't blow us up, Simon. You know, I that's my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm insured. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not insured. <laughs> What's the, what the word? <laughs> I have insurance. That's what I wanted yeah. to say. <laughs> <laughs> Similar words. Um, do you have some food with you? I just A drink or something. Yeah, I have drinks. Okay, but that's all. Because usually it's you don't come by a lot of drinks and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I have two drinks. Perfect. I thought we take the C1 for a spin with okay. one mining vehicle. Yes. So I shouldn't call mine, just we'll go with yours. Yeah, let's go with mine first. Alright. And then maybe if we see we need two vehicles, but I don't think so. Okay. We can still get another one. So, hangar 2. Alright. Actually, maybe let you fly, because then you can directly learn how to look for the oars. Okay, yes. We... Oh, wrong button. <laughs> so, we are about to fly the C1 Spirit, right? Yes. Whoa. Oh, it's all, all dark. No, don't... It's don't. fine. It is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait. Yeah, okay. Whew. Last time that happened, I was floating in space. Yeah, the other way around, usually it's oh. not so good. Is this thing yellow? Yeah. What? For, for ex extra for our mining mission. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, this thing is so amazing. Simon, you have all the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So cool, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I love it. Okay, so ROC, that's remote or yes. something. Wait. Collector. Collector. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's from it's Switzerland. From no, <laughs> that's <laughs> medical stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, Grey cat. Yeah, but very similar yeah <laughs> our flag is our flag is a huge plus <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay enter pilots um, oh, i can't believe i get to fly this ship again yeah it says escape pod next to the bed uh, oh the beds are escape pod yeah wow. they can close up and drop out look at it wow your ship i'm in third person right now <laughs> what okay whoa so, uh, this thing looks like a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's very Let's slick. See. Landing gear. Oh. The landing gear is a bit of a problem sometimes for exploration because it's such a wide trip and the landing gear doesn't allow for a lot of ground clearance. But, uh, oh man, Simon, this is the coolest ship I have ever seen. <laughs> I love it too. I'm just it's re really just... nicely done. Yeah, and it matches my suit. Yeah, I thought you would come with the gray cat. <laughs> to be honest, I thought they sell it here, but I think they sell it more on cargo decks. Okay, right, cargo deck. That's where I got it. So we're headed to yep. Daymar, correct? Uh, any of the moons. 
But I like Daimar personally. Okay. Let's go to Daimar. It has not so many storms with low visibility than s snow planets. <laughs> it doesn't allow me to set the route. Hmm. Hmm. Yela, try. Is, is it behind Crusader? Or? It doesn't allow me to set the route even to Crusader. Let me just try to. Yeah, I mean, oh, maybe you have to uh, you have to leave the area of the station a little okay. bit, like get out of the ATC range. All right. You can also check the outside view and then press P. Check the outside view. Yeah, look look from the top or front top or something. Weapons off. Do you see it? <laughs> wait, wait. What do you mean? In oh. the middle of the ship. <laughs> well, hang on. So go to the top, and what am I looking for? The top of the ship, next to the, behind the spirit text. Yeah. And then press P. Oh, the. Okay, I know what you mean. You're talking about the weapons. Yeah. Uh, like, what they would tuck you call away it? or yes. fold away? Hang on, P. Oh, it's so <laughs> cool. What would All you call that? Like, a, you know, there's the the F-22 Raptor has weapons like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's retractable. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Just enjoy all the details in this game, it's amazing. Oh, yes, it is. And this ship also sounds very good <laughs> on Afterburner in the outside. I view. was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you see the rocks in front of us. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, you're right, that worked. Mm. Simon always has the answers. Yeah. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so once we are there, we have to get near the surface of the moon. And usually, if you want to uh, avoid getting pirated and stuff, uh, don't do it just next to a mining po outpost or something. Like fly, uh, like maybe a hundred kilometers away from the next uh, landing pad that you can jump to, and then we will uh, switch to. Or no, right. you don't have to switch to scan mode then, but uh, you can hit V or hold V to send the scan wave. I think it's V. Yes, that pulse. Yeah, the pulse, and you will see some like squares with a distance to your ship, and then you have to go check them out. Okay. And usually, like how it currently works is if you see one pop up at over four kilometers, it's usually for ship mining, a big rock. And if it pops up four kilometers and closer, it's usually for hand mining or rock mining. Okay, so by distance. So should I just go anywhere? That's yeah, anywhere like you want. In the daylight, probably. Yeah. It's okay. both cool. The mining laser by night is also cool, but oh, you're right. Doesn't so, really matter. Mm, okay, we'll try this one here. Okay, so we mustn't be too close to the outpost so that we don't get pirated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because there are sometimes people who just jump from location to location, and if they find somebody on the radar, they can track them down. Wow. Doesn't happen too often, but same problem is around uh, Yella when you jump from OM point to OM, OM point, they sometimes just camp there. Wait for a reclaimer or something, a freighter to pop up. It's pretty lame, but whatever. <laughs> okay. 
So is so now I can just fly in any direction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's go this way. So with the pirate pirates. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, when I was talking to the other guy that um, Ben Krills, yeah. he he was telling me that he has an organ organization and he doesn't allow anybody to do like illegal stuff. Yeah. And he was acting like the pirates are really super annoying. Um, <laughs> but isn't it? Yeah, they can be, but is it doesn't part happen often? And is pirating like part of the gameplay? Yes, yes. Uh, so it's meant that you can. I mean, that's also a reason I think why they uh, added soft death for, for ships. The soft death means uh, when you get shot, yeah, you might notice that the ship doesn't always explode and kills you immediately. Right. But it can also uh, happen that it just loses all power and all systems and the gravity generator and you just fall or stop uh, in space and then they can loot you or your cargo they can come loot your cargo i see or they can also come uh, when you're in your lonely freighter or your uh, mining ship and they just find you somewhere they can also ask you for money or so and then they will spare you usually <laughs> are you serious that's a good but, idea. Uh, Threaten somebody. The problem is that from all the pirates that I encountered so far, only maybe 10% are like honorable or good pirates. Uh, where I don't know. They, sometimes there's pirates, they only speak French or so. And then what the hell am I supposed <laughs> to do with French? I don't understand them. <laughs> <laughs> Bad pirates. And, uh, if you shoot one of them, usually 10 seconds later, a torpedo hits your ship or something. <laughs> <laughs> or, okay. um, but I had some people that like tried to really negotiate and then they say, okay, we control this room and we pay you. Uh, if you pay us, you are allowed to stay here. And if not, we shoot you or something <laughs> like that. Okay. I used the pulse and I can see... Yep. A square shape and a diamond shape. Okay, diamond. That's probably already pretty close to us, right? It's just a diamond. There's no, uh, like location or uh, distance. So yeah, it, it's right in front of us. <laughs> okay, the diamonds are for hand mining and rock mining. Oh right. Um, and rock symbols are for ships and the squares, the boxes. They oh. are too far away, so it's oh. not yet identified yeah. what it okay. is. So you would have to go closer to that to identify it. Okay. But I see the little rock in front of us. Yes. And now, if you want to know what it is, uh, you can quick press or tap V to switch to the mining uh, ah. scanning mode. Yeah. And, and now you go close and hold the left mouse button, and it will start scanning the rock and read. Uh, it writes you in the hard what it is it, you might have to be pretty okay. close for the small rocks i can see from here it's green <laughs> but okay. uh might as well try it okay to scan it's I think that should be close it's enough. not doing anything hold the hold the left mouse when you are in the scan mode oh <laughs> scanning it's working yeah, and then you have to keep holding it until it's Done scanning, mm -hmm. and it should tell you that it's probably dolovine or, yes. or whatever it's called. Dolovine. Uh, yeah, and it might as well tells you the mass of it, how, uh, how heavy it is. It just says 72% dolovine composition, inert yeah. material 27%. That's yeah, all. inert material is useless material. Ah. That's worth nothing. And the other stuff is worth something. That tells you like how many percent of the rock is worth something. And usually there is also a mass. And then uh, the 0 0.1 kilograms or cubic meters or whatever are for hand mining. And the 0 0.8 around that are oh, for yes, the vehicle. Right. 
on the other side it says mass is 0 0.84 t that's tons yeah so that wouldn't be mineable by hand tool it's too big okay tool. so and the small ones are doable mm -hmm. with the vehicle but you have to be very careful because they overheat so quickly with the oh. mining laser from the vehicle it's then better to use the hand mining tool okay so this one's not for us no, and it's only one, it's really yeah. uh, I not worth see. to get out. So ideally we find a group of few rocks with Hadanite, the purple okay. one. Okay, all right, over here. And it's pure luck, so uh, you fly around and you just have to look for it. It's You might find it, find it immediately or you might cruise around if you're very unlucky half an hour until you find something useful. Yes, I understand. Uh, when I was in the scanning mode, I was scrolling the wheel, and it was making mm -hmm. the circle smaller. Yeah, it adjusts the angle in which it scans in front of your ship. If you focus it, uh, it you can scan uh, in a longer range. Dolavine, or Dolavine, yeah, 86%. Yes. Point eighty-four tons. So that's the same like before. Yeah. Okay. They don't vary too much. They are always at 0 0.8 or 0 0.1 mass. The ship uh, rocks are way more varied and there are way many more materials to find. <laughs> I see. <coughs> yes. Okay, here's a rock. So th you said the rock is for the, the ROC. Yeah, you can scan that for maybe, for example, so you will see how that looks. It's okay. way different from... It has probably m many more different uh, materials in it than... Um, Scanning. Rocks, a small rock. Okay, copper, boras, uh, obsidian deposit, mass, 4,923. So, yeah. This, the other one was 0.8, right? And this right. is 4,000. And they go up, I think, to, I don't know, 20,000 or something. Are you serious? And then uh, some are even too big for the small single-seater mining ship. <laughs> so how the heck are you supposed to know what's too big? Like, is are you uh, saying... So if you are in the mining ship, it will... And you use your mining head to scan the rock it will tell you impossible oh basically. i see okay i i remember that so is this one gonna work for our rovers no 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 it's only for ships oh so oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> we can only take the small ones <laughs> so I should avoid all the rock shape ones? Yeah, yeah. Only oh. diamonds. <laughs> Only diamonds. Okay. Only diamonds. We can do this, Josh. <laughs> okay. Here's some other ones. Yeah, let's go over here. And, and I usually use the sun as an orientation, so I don't... Because I had in the beginning, <laughs> when I started, the problem that I go in circles sometimes. <laughs> yes. And then you find the cracked rocks from before. <laughs> I see. I was yeah I was thinking maybe we're going back to the same ones. <laughs> okay, so use the sun as orientation. You're so good at this, Simon. Okay, these are all rocks. So no. Ah, uh, the sun. Okay, the, the sun is <laughs> <laughs> We really we really need a compass. <laughs> right. That would work. Yeah, you can either follow Crusader if you see it, or a moon on the horizon, or uh, the sun. Okay. Alright, there's some Where mountains there. on the horizon. Yeah, let's go to the mountains. <laughs> These little canyons are so cool. Yeah. I was about to say the same. <laughs> <laughs> they constantly improve the, their planet tech, so like every really? year or two they have some new upgrades for it, it's cool. 
you know, I noticed while I was exploring that there are no patterns. I would think that yeah. they would repeat the texture or the, the mountains, you know. Mm, no, it's procedurally generated, they call it. Really? So it's not handcrafted. There's nothing. There's really a really um, good video from on the Star Citizen channel where they explain it. It's probably a few years back now. Mm -hmm. But they show how they create planets. It's really interesting how that tool works. That is, that is really cool. It's, I really In general, like it's really interesting. On their channel, they explain more or less everything they do <laughs> at some point. There, there's nothing to in this. Oh, here. Okay, finally. Mm. Sometimes, if you are very fast and the server is really bad, it's better to go a bit slower because oh. sometimes the stuff just spawns behind you when you're oh. already past it because the server is so slow, maybe. So I think this one worked quite well. So. Yeah, it's everything is so smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, again. It's also, it's not a full server, that's maybe also why. Again, just rocks. <laughs> Alright, let's go back in the same direction. Not so fast. And as a miner, you have to also, so, uh, from your experience and so on, after a while, you, you have to decide like, do I take the deposit? Do I keep searching? I right. might get lucky with the next found, find, but it's, you have good days, bad days. Wow, that's 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 interesting. So you gotta weigh the consequence of stopping and using the time. Yeah. And I think in the in the Argo Mole, that's the multi crew mining ship, you also have a it burns through fuel pretty fast if you fly around a lot. Oh I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> right, because you're flying around so much. Yeah, and it's pretty heavy. What, does that make a difference? I mean... I don't know how they do it, uh -huh. to be honest. How they decide how much fuel it uses. Do you think I'm going too fast still? No, no, it's fine. Or too slow? <laughs> Round about how I fly, I would say. Okay. Careful with the wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got some more over here. And as I said, uh, if you scan and it pops up at over four kilometer, it's almost a hundred percent not for the rock. Like if it's six to eight kilometers away when you find it, it's almost certainly a ship rock. Oh, okay. And so it and so it detected it because it's so large. Yeah, probably. Okay, we got some diamonds finally. Yeah, Maybe. nice. Six of them as well. Scanning. It's blue. You can also, for these ones, because these ones you can optically see, yeah? yeah. You can hold F and scroll in with the oh, mouse right. wheel. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At least at, at the time. <laughs> yes. And but with the ship rocks, it's harder. You can't just look at them and know it. These are. Oh, it just disappeared. It said aphorite or something. Hold on, scanning again. Yeah, it's the blue one. That's n not valuable. No. Yeah, aphorite. So there's only one kind of blue. <laughs> so are yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only okay. this, these three colors, and then the oh. very, very rare one. That I see. So you're saying probably to use only findable on foot in caves. Right. So you're saying instead of scanning, just use F and see if it's blue. Yeah, if it's not that orangey, yellowy, purpley oh. thing. So forget this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so am I doing this right? Just yeah, do it. Okay. You do that right. With some experience, you will yes. know how fast you can go and get faster. 
yet. Okay, so you said if it's... So there's one that was almost four kilometers away. That's, you're saying, is going to be for the ship. Almost four could still be for the rock. But oh. over four, like six to eight yes. kilometers, is for sure not for us. Okay. Yep, that was rock. And uh, if we hover a lot, like when we scan a lot and stuff, yeah. uh -huh. uh, you can also use the VTOLs. Oh. I think we burn less fuel like that. Yeah, you're right. Doesn't really matter on this ship, I guess, but on the mining ship, it's. On the big mining ship, it's pretty hefty, but. It, yes. You, the fuel consum consumption. Can make a difference. Okay. Here's another option. Come on, Daymar, give us something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there are also like different chances on each moon to find uh -huh. certain things. And how with the ores for ship, it's even so that you don't find everything on every moon. Also rock. And how likely is it for us to run into a cave? Very slim, I would say. <laughs> okay. I usually only find them with with uh, investigation missions. Yes. But we can certainly do that as well. Uh, take one of these missions. Maybe we even get a cave where we can go fly in with the rock and go in with oh, the rock. That's but right. Yes. There are not many of those, I think. I heard on this moon there's a giant hole. Yeah. Even the huge ship can fit in. I think it's on the map though, this one. It's the map. How is it called? It's something abandoned. Um, so that one was f almost six kilometers, so that's gotta be for the ship. Yeah, the Kudre or mine closed. Yes. That's yes. the one, I think. But this one is floating in the air. <laughs> Oh, it's just the waypoint, I see. So, tell me something about 323. You must have tried it. I tried a little bit, not too much. Uh, I heard it's right now pretty stable. Oh, really? And probably soon in wave 3. Like, the, they open the test server in waves. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first only the ones that are the most active testers and then I think it depends how much money you spent on the game oh, really? <laughs> then you get waves until in the end short before release everybody can join it and test it that's cool that seems fair yeah I think it's okay it's those people that invest and uh, subscribers also I think right. always get access okay we found something Nice. Yeah, because yeah, I've got. I've only tested. I only run in, around in Horizon. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I finally was at the hangar, I was at my third bug report, so I kind of lost interest <laughs> to go I first see. that day. And oh, the other sweet. day, when I wrote you, I tested the Arena Commander Engineering. But Damn I was uh, online. Nice. I was online at like an early time in the morning, so there was not really people around to test it with me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use the F instead of scan, use my brain. We got green. Green. Should Is... we try it? Let's just try so it. You... Yes. So I, I just gotta... Do... So we're doing hand mining, right? So... Uh... Vehicle and hand, I would say. Okay. Depends how big they are. So I need to land somewhere intelligently. Yeah. With this ship especially. So many rocks around here. <laughs> oh man, mm -hmm. that's crazy. I'd say right, front right. Over here. Between these rocks maybe. There's enough space. Let me check this side. Yeah, okay. Ah, hoo -hoo. Beautiful. Should be okay. And okay. I have set open doors on the key. Um, 
on the keybind, uh, so I can open the ramp always from the cockpit. Okay. And I Sh can directly check if the ramp goes all the way down or is it's in the air, because uh -huh. you can see behind our ship, it's directly like a little ditch. Yes, I see that. So if it's too deep, you can't re-enter the ship with your vehicles. Okay. So we might still have to go forward on the more flat. So should I open the door? Yeah. Okay. One second. Doors. Okay. Opening. If you want, I can quickly tell you where to do the key bind. Yeah, it's not uh, touching. Yeah, then we have to go a little forward. Okay. All right. Okay, you said keep. Yeah, okay, I understand better. So it's it's in the options. The key um, binds and then advanced. Okay, hold on one second. Let me. Okay, so options. That's escape options. Key binds. Key, key binds. Okay, I'm here. Uh, I see the keyboard. Left, advanced. Uh, advanced. Okay. And then. Second from top says vehicle cockpit. Yeah, open Got it. that. Mm -hmm. And there it's open closed doors toggle. I've put the insert key there. That's not used for something else. Insert. Oh, that's okay. So I just double click it, I guess, and then insert. Yes. Got it. Open so close. Ah, oh, that's a genius idea. But it's gonna open all like uh, all doors at once, all yes. airlocks and everything. It's not I not understand. yet uh, separated. Okay. Okay, let's try here. I guess it looks pretty flat. Gently. <laughs> wow. Uh, well done. Yeah, that's. I don't know. I think that's good enough. Are you sure? <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. it's off the ground quite a bit. Let me we'll see. Are you sure? Okay. All right. Fine. Test pretty big tires. Yeah. And should I turn off the engine or not? I usually do. Yes. Okay. But leave the power on. The on. Ground, I off. And leave the power on, right? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Shields on. Got it. Oh. Now we are fine. The ramp is really close. Awesome. Just oh, man, carefully get in when you try to drive in again. Not like with too much speed. <laughs> yes, I got it. Do you know if this ship is possible to buy in the game yet? Oh, you're gonna let me drive? Maybe it's not sure if it's in the game. Yeah, sure. You have to learn it now. <laughs> okay. So get in. All right. Enter. <laughs> oh, love it. And you start it like a ship. With yes. Power on, hold R, whatever. Okay. Power on. <laughs> Systems activating. Uh, Systems ground vehicles are not on. really well implemented yet, but like control wise, you can't really control the speed on these things. Oh, I see. Just have to tap them if you want to go slower. How did you fit in here? It's touching the walls on both sides. What? Yeah. Not on my screen. All right. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, it was somewhere behind us, right? I think you have a scanner as well on this ship. You oh. can all vehicle, you can also yes. hit B, right? I see it. So I follow you. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is just amazing. <laughs> I, it's so. I feel like I'm on Mars right now. Yes, I am here. And it's crazy. Sometimes you really underestimate how quick your ship is, uh -huh. especially on foot. Like you would think, oh, we landed pretty close, but then you're like half a kilometer away. Okay, now oh, hit M for entering the mining mode. Okay, M. Got it. Oh, <laughs> the voice. Now you have uh, you have two different modes. You have the mine, like the 
yeah. breaking mode and uh, extraction mode. Yes, fracture. So you need to be in the fracture mode, yeah. And then if you aim at one of these, it will tell you if you are in good range to it. And uh, range. there should appear a red and green yes. bar on the left or right. Okay, I see. And, uh, and then... Uh, once you know what it is, or if it tells you what it is, yes, you can um, left click left. to start the laser. And now we have uh, on one side you have that green red yes. bow, and on the or arc, and on the other side you have the power arc, like oh how much God. power you put in the laser. And with alt and left alt and mouse wheel, you can adjust the amount of power. Or some people. If they have a spare axis somewhere on a controller or something, they put the power there because you're way faster compared to mouse wheel. Okay. And then you have to slowly increase the power until you uh, see that arc filling up. I don't see any any progress the, bar. Yeah, you're on the lowest power yet. Still, you have to hold alt left. Yes. And mouse wheel up. Okay. Like I'm, scrolling. Yeah, I'm scrolling up. And I nothing. I don't see any difference in the screen. Yeah. Also, I don't hear a difference. Maybe did they change it again? Let me check. Because they changed it already one time. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I was pressing Control, not Alt. <laughs> I mean. Okay. Yeah, that's right. okay. That's probably. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can hear it. It's going. But it's pulling up. So at some point, if you put enough power in, that other arc should start to fill up. Okay. And you should not exceed the green area under no circumstances. Ah, uh, yes. If that happens, turn either turn off the laser or aim at the... like, miss the rock with the yes. laser for a moment. Oh. Or turn it back down. The goal is now to keep it in the green area until the green area is filled completely and then it breaks. It's quite a small green area. Yeah. Oh, that's why you need those handheld devices. Yeah, but they only work on the big rocks, not on these small ones. Okay. If you get in the red area, the red area will start filling. And the fuller this red area is, and the bigger the rock is, uh -huh. it will explode, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm almost to the green area. Yeah. All right, we're green. So now I should scroll down a little. Yeah. Usually when you get to the green, it starts to fill up faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, don't die. And, uh... What? If you, if you see that you can't control it anymore, just reverse and get away as fast as possible. Well, it worked! Yeah. Yep. So now there are all the green little diamonds and you can switch to extraction oh, mode. Oh yeah, I see it. And then I would, because of the server lag, just aim at something and wait until it's fully sucked in and then aim at the next. Uh, how do I switch? switch uh, um, right click. Right, right click. I think. Oh, extraction yeah, you're right. Now we have like a vacuum for diamonds. <laughs> Because of the server lag, don't move it too fast around, because oh. it sucks it towards the head, and uh, it will miss the head if you move it too oh, fast. Oh, I understand. And then it flies behind your vehicle somewhere. Oh, I, I see. I get it. But the rock is. Yeah. In... Oh, I, I think to... you might all cut them all. So now it's the same with all the other rocks. <laughs> 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 and can you do it by hand also? I'm I'm about to check it, but I think these ones are too big for my tool. Fraction on. And can you do it both at the same time? Wow, this is so um, cool. Um, oh no. Are you there? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, you're gone. Oh my, I just pressed Alt F4. <laughs> <sighs> uh, 
You've got to be kidding Oops. me. <laughs> I wanted to... I was, like, controlling the power, and I wanted to go to third person. <laughs> that is that's, absolutely that's, terrible. <laughs> no. Oops. <laughs> well, I will wait. I will be here. <laughs> Simon, that's that's my signature move. <laughs> that's quite funny, oh, actually. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, so mining at the same time uh, as cinematography is not a good idea. I think I'm bucked in the drawer now <laughs> and exited. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Simon. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. Uh, okay. <laughs> So we're back at the station. I find it funny because lately people try to trick new players again with, oh, go hold alt and go to third person. It's the newest alt F4. They did um, that to me and I fell for it. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's pretty. Uh, it, it works because in Star Citizen we really use these keys a lot <laughs> for other yeah. stuff. <laughs> uh, I see you. I would. Mi I mean, I could have fallen for that too, probably. <laughs> Mine worked. Come to room five. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Did you get hurt? No, I'm just hungry, and that's sometimes faster than fiddling around with oh, the bottles and stuff. The suit. How can you see if you're hungry when it doesn't show on the on the screen? Uh, then you are not hungry if it oh. doesn't show. Okay. Unless you don't wear a helmet, then you can't see it, I think. Because then you don't have the hat. Right. Well, that was a good short lesson <coughs> in rover mining. <laughs> so what you would have had to do then was fly back to one of the outposts where there is a building f to sell stuff uh -huh. and you go to the console and select your sh mining vehicle and then sell it maybe you have to get it out of the back of your ship so that the outpost can register it I see not sure cool well, I've never been in the mall it's so cool <laughs> Have I? It's up to, up to four people. It has three lasers what? and a pilot. Wait, is this the one you showed me last time? Uh, no, it's the same manufacturer. The other one was the raft, which is the cargo ship. Oh. And this one is the oh. mining ship. <laughs> this thing is, this thing is so cool. But they have similarities of, def definitely. Wait, and and does it same come? Wipes. Th does it come in this uh, color, or you chose? Yeah. No, that's that's the original color. Oh my! Wow! Look how how much stuff, like how detailed, like the lights and the yeah, yeah, the different cockpits. Like, what is this down here? That's the mining turret with the mining head on the front. So that's wow. the center one. That's the only one that with oh. like protection against the uh, elements, and you have. On each side, you have another one, but here you are like <laughs> w oh. without windows. Why ever Argo thought that's a good idea, but <laughs> these ones, <laughs> you are unprotected. This is amazing. Okay, and what are okay, these? These containers, I guess that's what you use. Yeah, that's the ore containers, mm -hmm. and you can also get them off the ship with the tractor beam now. I see doesn't really make sense yet, but the, it is planned that cargo ships can come get collect them Whoa. and uh, or refinery ships, which are not a thing yet, sadly. I love this utilitarian stuff. Like last yeah. time, the other little ship you showed me, what was it called again? The raft. Raft. It was so cool. So here is uh, your suit locker before oh, you go yes. out and yes. then you would go in here but don't use it when you're landed because it extends further than the landing gear <laughs> what, what do you mean i don't understand yeah if you sit in the seat it oh. will extend outside the ships oh 
like, like it goes a little out so you have better angles with the laser and that goes actually further down than the landing gear currently so oh to the like in the ground <laughs> yeah <laughs> i get it i mean argo maybe has to redesign some things in the future it seems to have some pretty bad flaws in their designs <laughs> right maybe a mall 2.0 or so <laughs> so uh here we have the dining area or the coffee machine. <laughs> this is so cool. And for the longer mining trips, some beds and a little shower and toilet. Wow. I mean, somebody needs to design their kid's bedroom exactly in this yeah. fashion. <laughs> exactly. It almost looks like the beds already look like kids beds yeah like with the ladders and the color and the, the screen <laughs> yeah yeah and then we go towards the cockpit <laughs> this is so cool uh these are like uh, filters or grind like rock crushers i think but they actually don't do anything currently it oh, was yeah. meant to i think it was meant that this ship would like already clear out some yes. of the useless material Vacuum and seal. only keeps the valuable stuff but that doesn't work oh and that's the ladder down to the center mining turret should i go check it out yep i'm going um <laughs> yeah you can go <laughs> meanwhile i will open the hangar doors okay and this mining turret is working? Yeah, uh, yes. And it's like the other turrets, you have to power it on first to make it work. Okay, yes. And then you have to um, do the same as in the rock before with the M button. Okay. Oh, maybe you don't have it because you're in the mining turret. It's maybe already in mining mode. But if not, you might have to press M. And right-click changes the modes, yes. and the other things are more or less the same. All right. And Only the rock will work. The rocks will work differently, but I will show you once we are there. Okay. I would say you fly. Okay. No Alt F4. Yes. Man, I gotta change that. I. Just... <laughs> uh. Oh, red. Oh. <laughs> Right. And it has really cool animations as well when you use VTOL or the landing gear is also very cool on this ship. How c I I'm not able to take off. It's not going. It's a heavy boy. I Are have you to maybe use VTOL or VTOL. Oh yeah. And if that's not oh, enough yeah. afterburners. You're right. That's amazing. And it can also be that you still have the option on for the proximity assistance, like as, yeah, there's a proximity assist thingy wow. that's default on on the game settings and that reduces your thruster power near the ground. Actually, oh. if that's on, we should definitely turn it off right now because we are going to crash otherwise, I think. Okay, sorry. What should I turn off? Uh, go to the options. And then game settings. Okay, options. And then scroll slightly down okay. until it starts to say flight on the left. And then it's two, three, four. it says flight minus proximity assist. That should be a no, okay. not a yes. Okay, flight proximity assist defaults on. Yeah, put that on no. Got it. Because if with heavy ships like this or the reclaimer or something, uh -huh. Terex, uh -huh. once you get close to the ground, it just loses power. Because oh, okay. it meant that you don't crash into things yes. <clears throat> when you get close, that you can steer it more like okay. fine, but that actually does the, the other, the opposite right. thing. Okay. lets you crash. <laughs> I remember you, you were telling me about that before. Yeah, I was so annoyed when I couldn't hoover with my reclaimer on uh, <laughs> Ghost Hollow. Uh, 
Each time I got close to the trees, it just sucked me down. <laughs> Why is gravity changing near the ground? It makes no sense. That's funny. <laughs> oh, hmm. man, this shit, man. I'm shocked by the detail. I, I loved industrial ships. It's so cool. Yeah. But you know me, I also love excavators and stuff <laughs> in real life, so <laughs> no wonder. Daymar, okay. I can't believe I get to try all these cool ships. Does this have weapons? Oh yeah! Yeah, tiny weapons. And it's so slow, like the turn rate of the ship and everything uh -huh. is so slow that <laughs> I think it's <laughs> maybe against NPCs, maybe an option. <laughs> but I think... Uh, oh yeah, I, I also tried Pirate Swarm in Arena Commander in 320 through. Uh -huh. 323. And they absolutely wrecked me. <laughs> I couldn't win against the NPCs. It was brutal. We'll go toward this. Oh man, I hope I don't crash. <laughs> I think I can do it. You can do it. Okay, so for this one, when it's just remember, it's a heavy ship. It's yes. probably not as agile and doesn't break that quickly. Okay, got it. So the far away ones, we can handle it. Yeah. Now we need no diamonds. We can't mine right. diamonds with this. It's way too strong, the lasers. Okay. And we need about a range, I think, of 150 meters to the rock or less to be in the optimal range for the lasers. What, so it... they can use their full potential. Okay, we got rocks. Sorry, how yeah. far was that? 150? Yeah, but first task will be we scan it again, see what's inside, if it's any good. So what would yes. be good is, of course, Quantanium, it's the most profitable thing. Okay, uh, scanning now. Oh, it scans much faster. But it doesn't give me, uh, maybe I'm too far away. Yeah, I think this, this website is really weird. I'm gonna search for another one. Um. Uh, Laranite. Mm -hmm. Name Igneous Deposit. <laughs> not sure what you mean with that. <laughs> but uh, Laranite is not too bad. Now you're. It's also important, like, how much percent oh. is it? Like, is it is it 2% or 30%? 45%. That's actually not too bad, I think. 39 try that. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry. So, 150 meters away, you said. Yeah. Okay, so Round we are out. 170 meters from this closest one. Or this So... And remember, the laser is below the cockpit, so you have to yes. like, like lift look it up. a little, little upwards, otherwise the laser can't reach it because it can't really aim up a lot. Okay, and, and so I need to do VTOL, like you said, also. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on. Oh, I keep messing around with the camera so much, I'm afraid. <laughs> Just take it slow. Take it slow, yes. All right. We got VTOL. Now... Now I should get out of the seat? Uh, I think we need to go closer. We are probably extremely far away still. Okay. It says 130. Really? Okay. So, then uh, look up. Okay, like this maybe? That's fine. And now we can go to the mining turrets. Okay. Um, you can take the middle one. I'm go gonna go downstairs. Take the other one. So this one here, just here, I should take. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Behind okay. the cockpit, that one. Got it. 
I'm gonna go into the right side. <laughs> this is so cool. Now we we will aim at the same rock probably, and then we have to support each other. Like, okay. to be careful <laughs> with the power <laughs> settings that we don't do too much. Okay. Okay. Power on. You said. Or. Yeah. I gotta find the power button, right? So. Yes. Let's exit. Yeah, it says 123 oh. meters from me. We are in perfect range. Almost. All right. I'm. It's. We're in business. Fracture mode. Yeah. And you have again the two arcs. And then yes. you have. Um, now it's like the outline of the rock is orange or yellow. Yes. Which means you have to break it before you can suck the material in. Once okay. it turns from yellow to purple, that's when you can switch the mode and suck it in. So what we try is get the bits with the most laranite in it. Oh. And we dispose the rest. We want as much of the laranite as possible. And on the right bottom of the screen, you see cargo. That's our cargo hold. Yes. Yes. And how full it is. And once we get near full, uh, we can decide to take also some like less valuable stuff. So you're saying after it fractures, I need to collect only the laranite. Oh, wow. Yes. So now Alt. we have to start powering up. Okay. Ooh, that one goes up pretty quick, I think. Is the sun just coming up or...? Something happens, yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's getting windy and uh, sand ah. is in our light ship. Light. So you could, for example, now combine different lasers on this ship. Currently it's all default setup on this ship. So you can combine lasers that have different bony. Uh-huh to accomplish each other. And now we just, that's an easy rock actually, it seems. It's really easy. Easy, huh? Mm. The green bar is so It's a much... very big green yeah, bar and right. it's not really in unstable. I have, oh, what we haven't checked is like the mass of the rock. That's also important. If it's like two tons, that's almost not worth it. Uh. So, and if it's maybe eight tons or something, then it's worth it. So now, so vacuum it. Now we have to scan the single parts, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, if you find one with a lot of laranite in it and not much what's inert materials, then you suck that in. And for these very valuable things, it's normal that they are almost never like 100% of one thing. Okay. I can okay. barely see the color in, in you that know, dust. Yeah, maybe I'll try to turn the light off. Yeah, we could try that. I'll try. Not sure if it's better though. <laughs> I'll go up there cuz I think Oh yeah, the sun, it's the sun. Let me um turn the light off. Yeah, and it's so dusty. I just chose the worst place possible. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 100% laranite. Nom nom. <laughs> that one is 100% inert material, we definitely don't want that. Okay. Yeah, the light is... Okay, the light it's is off. To... <laughs> Doesn't change anything. <laughs> There's a huge one straight ahead. Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> um, it's not like scanning though. Okay, it's working. Okay, here we go. A ato atosamite. Titanium. 55%. Gold, 30%. Gold is good, I think. They buffed that. Uh, so mass. I know. Where'd it go? Dang it. Oh yeah, there are multiple rocks here. Yes. Well, mm, mass is 1,000. Somebody cracked this already. What? There are at least the small rocks here. 
So Unless they added cracked rocks now to the... Uh -huh. <laughs> Should we try for the big one? Yeah, we can try. Let okay. me scan it, actually go a bit up, because okay. I can't reach it. Yeah, that's good. Okay. 40% gold, yeah, let's take the gold. Alright, I'm coming. 45 tons, I'm not sure if we can do that, <laughs> but we can try. <laughs> okay. Holy moly, didn't know there are <laughs> this big rocks, that's crazy. <laughs> we might would... <sighs> I don't remember what my thing on my back does exactly. Maybe we can help. If it doesn't work, we can try to attach that device. Oh, right. Maybe it helps. But I think I didn't take the right one for that. Oops, wrong laser. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can move it at all. Okay, alt. Full power. Full power, okay. Nope. <laughs> really? It's not gonna yeah, work? Look on the right side, it says impossible. Oh. Yeah, we would need uh, modifications or stronger lasers for this one. Yeah, Under but I think, I mean, 45 tons is massive. I've never seen such a big rock. Is titanium worth it? You can take that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure about titanium unless they buffed it. Oh, you just click. Oh, the sunrise again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach the one there. That's the maximum height I get. With my okay, laser. I'm on my. I'm on it. And on our right are also rocks. Okay. Rocks that up, I can't reach. Up and right. Okay, first go up. Okay, uh, one second. Get up the ladder. Five to ten degrees nose up. I see. So if you had a whole crew, then you could have a pilot mm -hmm. and the miners. I get it. And later on, you can have a transport ship or a refining ship and then a transport ship. Wow. You can also go mine in the asteroid belts, by the way. It's also possible. Oh, So in, right. in space. Is that... It's Good. Taranite, that's not too bad, but three tons. So this one could be interesting, but it's not big. Not big enough, okay. I'm, sc or I'm scanning on my right. <laughs> oh, I can see you. Oh, the rock is glowing. Oh, it, that was very close. It almost exploded. <laughs> and what will happen? It explodes. But <laughs> like do we... Uh, it depends how big the explosion would be and how close we are, but maybe the ship gets damaged. Maybe we even die if it's really, really bad. So now oh. on this rock, it's really it's interesting because it jumps a lot. Like, as soon as you're in the green area, it starts to be really unstable and sometimes just takes like one third or 50% of the green area at once. Wow, that was then so cool. Then you have cool. to be really uh, fast on the <laughs> laser sometimes. Okay, let's see what we have here. I have such a good view of your little... What do you call that? Turret? Yeah. That is really cool. I'm not sure myself like how, which percentage we should take of which material, but... I see. Just gonna guess. But I, I guess if you spent a lot of time doing this, you could get mm. really familiar with the different materials. Yeah, and yeah, things. and you will know like which compositions are the best ones you find and which ones are bad. Right. I'm surprised. <laughs> like these rocks have really much, a lot of content in them. Usually, I'm still used to the old ones where it's a lot of inert material all the time. Uh -huh. This is just absolutely awesome. <laughs> like the view from outside. That's, uh, that's bad. I am enjoying the view too much. 
I think I think it's also really relaxing because you have breaks, you know, in the crew. The pilot can chill while the other mine, yes. and then the miner can chill while the pilot is looking for the next best rock. Oh, there's Diamonds. there's one more thing you need to know about Quantanium. That's the by far most expensive one mm -hmm. to sell, but it's also unstable. So as soon as you suck in the first Quantanium, you have a timer, mm -hmm. and if it like if the timer runs out, it explodes. It's unstable oh. material, so you have to get it to the refinery really quick. Or there is also a button to eject the material, then you just like lose it. Oh, really? It. Mm hmm So if it becomes too unstable, you can get rid of it. Yeah, and you toss it away. That's cool. If <gasps> Look at the... Oh, this is that place. What's it called? Oh, we're oh. going to get... Oh, that's the racing thing. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the video I made with the fire tower? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if we're too close to a place like that, then we're going to get pirated. Yeah, it's more possible because those are points that I can fly towards. Can't see anything. It's all behind us right now, but... I see you moving around with your... <laughs> Scanning. Yeah. Oh man. Let's go to Crew L1. Okay. And land on the ship. And then uh, uh, on the station, and then we can go to the refinery and start the refining process. Okay. As for the priority mission, it's really useful to ask for help in the chat <laughs> because oh. it can be really tough. Yeah, there was like and 50 some are, ships. Yeah, and some are really time sensitive like yes. where you have to find the codes that the one we did all the way back <laughs> where you were yeah. the, stuck in the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That one and then there is another one where you have to hack a satellite and then they fly in and try to counter hack it. No way. You have to destroy the ships with that are ca uh, hacking, and if you don't do it fast enough, uh, it's, you also Please lose. Um, yeah, those missions you know, almost, I would say you almost need a crew designed right. for more than one. And the last mission, almost last mission is also designed for, for more people where you have to go to the security post Korea yes, and defend with the, it. With the chip. There, yeah, there are so many enemies and all heavily armored with LMGs and stuff that uh, even if you're fully loaded with ammo, you kind of start running out of ammo real quick. <laughs> I see. Have you noticed the transformation when you need to gear up down? When you look Trans from the back, for example? Yes, yes. I'm now looking from the back. Yeah. It is super cool. The and if you hit the landing gear, it's transforming the engines too. Oh no, wait, let me see that. Oh yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, hold on, I have to do that at the same time as... Looks people. way cooler that way. <laughs> oh... Was I flying the whole time with landing gear down? No, no. Okay, here we go. But uh, the retool wasn't done. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Man, who thinks of this stuff? <laughs> All right, we're going in. Oh, I found the power on button <laughs> right as we are about to land. <laughs> <laughs> Great. 
Nice. Yes. Man. Perfect. <laughs> I'm just trying to find my way out of here. <laughs> yeah. I think I got it. Yes, got it. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, it's so cool. I love this ship. This is my favorite utility ship. Yeah, it's very cool. Okay, let's see what we got. All right. Is it normal for guys like us doing this to not have weapons? Uh, I have a pistol. Oh. What? <laughs> oh yeah, I see. Not that it would help a lot, but... I see it. No, it's never wrong to have a weapon. Never, yeah. <laughs> Especially sometimes I just... Where is your... Wait. See something and then you want to do something else, like a mission or somebody oh, asks you to help and... Then you're not prepared. Yeah. Management just wanted to make a general announcement to check your valve system. Where did you fell? I by the way. Over here. <laughs> right here. I fell from the top and over the railing. Oh. And I died. <laughs> yeah. But you know, there is a railing for a reason. Yep. Yeah. But I got a cool <laughs> screenshot. Form in the building. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what we have. I think you will be able to see what I do on the display. Okay. Yeah. So far, I yeah I see everything. Argo mole. So now I have nine different things to try, and I never know which one is which. Is it this one? And then you select which ones do you want to process or uh -huh. throw away. Uh -huh. Get cold. Well, are are we? Uh, wow, this takes forty hours. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> wow, so uh, you have to. Uh, you have to pay that 5,000 if you want to do it. Yeah. I see. This one only takes two hours, costs also 5,000, but we lose almost 50% of our ore. Wow. So, I guess we ha already had maybe the best one. 40 hours and cheap. Mm -hmm. And we lose... Mm, it goes from 2,400 to... 2,000 yield. Okay. Let me check actually. Get quota. Yeah, this is super expensive. No, thank you. This as well. Six hours. So you you can pay more, so it goes faster, and then like you have free speeds, I think, and free. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Thirty-two thousand yeah, yield losses that you can select from. 10, 13 hours we could sell that tomorrow right but okay uh confirm oh. so now it's it starts uh processing okay everything and you can check the display here how far it is oh yeah so you just paid ten thousand yeah and and uh once it's done we will come back here mm -hmm. and then it says process is finished and you can collect it but put it in your cargo ship from here I see but how do you know how much you're gonna make um, you I think you have to calculate it and know the prices currently. I see. or maybe we could have gone here to the ore sales and check how much they would have got given us and then almost double it I think okay So you can do multiple jobs. It says now zero completed work orders, one work order currently processing. Right. I'm not sure if there's a limit or what. And I guess you don't get a notification or something <laughs> in your Moby Glass? Uh, I think you get one, not, but not 100% sure. 
I haven't mined for a few patches. Okay, I see. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. I'm currently motivated to play this game again. <laughs> it's cool to redo all the stuff. <laughs> yes. So. And I want to quickly check here in the shop uh -huh. which laser head would, might help with the big rocks. Industrial cleaner. So we have the arbor head currently. Which has mining laser power of 1890. Then there, I think the helix is the strongest. Yeah, that one has 4000 per head. It's way stronger than the one we have on the ship. But with this one, the uh, optimal charge window, so the green area gets 40% smaller <laughs> if you use this one. So you see there is always that trade-off <laughs> yes. with each uh, mining equipment. So that's why you might combine a helix for the power with the one that we already have on the ship. Uh -huh. how, how expensive is this thing? You might put one on one of the... Helix mining laser. It's... 100k. 108. Okay. They look exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some make really annoying noises. Like, I just changed them one time just because it was so annoying oh, when really? it was on. <laughs> Such an unpleasant sound. <laughs> like at the dentist. Yeah. No worse. Oh, wow. <laughs> Simon, I really thank you so much for taking me on this amazing adventure. I really liked it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> cool. And we didn't die. Yeah, we just accidentally logged out. Yeah, that happened. That's okay. <laughs> All right, have a good week. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye, Josh.